Hi, I'm Fabrice Normandin, and this is my presentation on Sequoia, a software framework to unify continual learning research. The main takeaways of this talk are that we introduce Sequoia, a new software framework for continual learning, in which we create a tree-shaped hierarchy of pretty much all the settings in continual reinforcement and continual supervised learning. Doing so, we're able to reuse methods across settings. Sequoia is meant to be a hub for continual learning research and benefits from advancements in many different specialized frameworks um, such as these. Here's an oversimplification of the context. Most applied machine learning research does either or both of the following. Either it proposes a new setting or a new research problem for the community to tackle, or it proposes a new method or a new solution to such problems. When you're doing either, either of these things, you'll encounter problems uh, that stem from the fact that there are a ton of settings to choose from in continual learning. Um, because you have to choose a method when you're, you have to choose a setting when you're developing a, a new method, it's often going to be specialized towards that setting and difficult to reuse. Newer settings, when they get introduced, aren't very well standardized and it's difficult to, re, to replicate results of other papers. You often need to re-implement baselines in order to be able to compare uh, against them. And reinforcement learning and supervised continual learning somewhat evolve in silos and separate from each other. Here's our proposition, is to build a tree to organize the field of continual learning. Here's a simple example of what I mean by a tree. So, uh, these boxes here are settings. So a classification setting is more general, uh, let's say, than an image classification setting in which we assume, uh, and assumptions here are arrows, we assume that inputs are images. Um, likewise, we can also assume that the images are only digits and then we recover the MNIST classification setting. On the right here, you can see that methods can target a given setting and they are directly reusable on any setting that is more specific than their target setting. Previous work um, has also tried to organize the field of continual learning based on assumptions about task boundaries, task identity, and whether the context is stationary or not, etc. In this work, we uh, attempt to go one step further and also bridge the divide between reinforcement and supervised continual learning. We create this tree of continual learning settings based on the different assumptions that are typically used in continual learning research, um, namely whether the environment is um, a supervised learning environment or a reinforcement learning environment, whether there are clear task boundaries, whether such boundaries are observable, whether uh, task identity is known during training or testing. And lastly, if uh, the context is stationary, meaning does the environment change over time or um, is it um, a stationary environment? Here's a, a list of the different settings and assumptions that, current, that Sequoia currently supports. As you can see, we're able to recover a great many settings by just having a few simple questions. Here's how Sequoia fits in the current uh, software ecosystem. Sequoia, as I said before, is a hub where we use different frameworks that are specialized to do different things. Um, Sequoia's only real purpose is to create this organization of research problems. And then different frameworks are used to uh, provide solutions to these problems. A noteworthy example is Avalanche, which is used as a source of continual supervised learning methods. Um, likewise, Stable Base Science 3 is a framework that we use to provide um, backbones for RL. Sequoia use, uh, provides a jumping off point called the base method, which, you which leverages PyTorch Lightning for um, high performance training and is a very easy entry point for new users. Uh, here's how you would run an experiment in supervised continual learning, for, in this instance, task incremental supervised learning. Uh, using Sequoia. You simply import a method and apply it on a setting to get results. And here's the same for, uh, for reinforcement learning. That's it. 
Thank you very much. And I look forward to hearing from you on our GitHub page.